Hey everybody, Xdesign101 here, and this is a quick update to my Unityscape RuneScape private server. So, I'm just gonna load that up quickly here. <coughs> Once it gets started, we're just gonna jump right into our master account here. I resetted all the accounts and set him to uh, admin. Uh, I did try to do this video not long ago, but I recorded it in the wrong uh, uh, portrait mode or landscape mode because it needs to be in landscape mode, not portrait. Yeah, yada yada yada. Anywho, um, the camcorder might make this lag a little bit, but uh, let's uh, go for it anyway. Anywho. Uh, we have full armor on here. If we click on our armor shop dude here, we have 39,000. I can easily buy any of this. And then the bones here, I have yet to put a picture for the bones, but you can sell the bones for some change. So, uh, then you can buy something here. So we don't have uh, the chain mail, and we don't have the body here, so we can just uh, check it out. We could equip it. Woo, yeah, and we could put this one on instead. But better stats, so let's go ahead and sell that to this guy back again. Boom. Um, okay, uh, let's going to happen now is I'm going to show you a little bit about our little chat system. It's not the greatest, but it chats with the people of the server. It has your name so you know who's talking about what, yada yada, and you can toggle it on and off so it's not in the way when you're fighting and stuff. As you did notice, the inventory looks a lot nicer. Um, I'm going to be changing the white icons to same background see-through icons that you see here later in the character window I completely forgot about those let's move out of his way I need to set their uh, dodge sequence to, to dodge me um, <clears throat> again we can change our uh, combat stance pretty easily there's no quests but for whenever there is um, spell book boom you can set the spell I still need to set where it sh how it shows what the active spell is and then here is our uh, stats panel basically we have our attack strength and defense and then we have our magic down there uh, I have armor on so the bonus is 1.9 for the armor set that I'm wearing um, other bonus armor, other armors will give slightly higher bonuses. I don't want armor to give too high of a bonus because the the main idea is to get your level up, not to get well. You do need to raise your level to wear better armor anyway, but just because the armor is better doesn't mean you need a huge bonus from it. But y you know what I mean. It, it's gonna resemble RuneScape feel anyway. Um, I did add a console for admin so if you're an admin we can type in and now in here we're gonna want to type the, uh, the name of the item and it's gonna be very specific because right now it's uh, kind of buggy or if it's like not specific it's gonna cast an error to the command to work command place to work again which sucks uh, so I, I will get that fixed soon but anyway so now we just press submit boom the command has been submitted if we look in our inventory we now have a staff we could equip it because I did not add a level uh, requirement to it yet but uh, we're going to take that off because it's worth some good money here. And we're going to sell it for 40000 
boom. Um, now I'm pretty rich already in this game, as you can see. 79,000 is not rich, but for the level I am, that is freaking amazing. <laughs> Again, cheating for the win, right? Um, we don't have any actual weapon right now, but I do feel confident in the kicking skills. So we're going to make sure that we're set to strength here. We are. We're going to go rush these goblins over here. Yeah. They are on a spawner now, so when I kill one, the new one spawns. There is something going on with their uh, detection and dodging, so I will have to fix that. But hey, there you go. Get back here. I kicked you. Uh, I will need to raise the speed, I guess. A little bit, maybe. But the defense, definitely, the bonus is very significant for a low-level combat. So, like, if, it, if I was to come out here with the, without the armor, I'd be losing right now. So, if I died and came back, his health would have automatically went back. There's another bug where he kind of stays aggro to everybody. So, if an online player was to... Uh, walk past it, it would probably aggro to that other online player and be like, oh, what the hell, I didn't attack it. <laughs> Again, some minor bugs I'm going to work on. So it dropped us a bone. I believe now, if I think about it, this would be the third one I've killed. No, the second one. <coughs> Sorry about that. If I wait a little bit of time, I think about 45 seconds to a minute. I will start to auto heal. Um, and send a check. Nobody, because there's nobody online, but hey, let's do it anyway. Um, I want to wait till the health starts to regenerate a little bit. There we go. So there is health regeneration every three seconds. One health will regenerate. I love making these videos because at the same time I get to see a few things that I need to fix. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I, I know this is going a little slow, but remember I am one person doing this completely alone. Thanks to the plugin Ply Game. Also, photon blocks, it makes it a little faster, but using Blender and all these other DAT to MQO like methods is takes a little bit of time to, you know, do this. It really does. Animating is not fun. That's also why it looks a little bad, but hey, hopefully if you guys can get past the crappy animations, you'll enjoy the gameplay a bit. It's not that bad, especially when you look at it from like a top-down stance like this. It's, it's pretty nice. Like even with the, the monsters, it's not too shabby looking. It's mainly pretty shabby looking when you look down like this. Now you can see how like stiff it is. There's no movement in the legs or like in the knees or anything. But most of the time I would assume you guys would be playing like this. And only using this way for maybe walking forward in a quick distance. Okay, so I have sufficient amount of health to get one more kill. Grab that one uh, level defense. I mean strength. And with that strength level, I'll be able to own people even harder with the damage. Um, if I raise my attack, I will have a higher chance of hitting with my bonus I guess yeah that's what it is with the bonus because uh, there, there's a chance where you hit your bonus and no bonus and one of them has a higher chance than the other oh look I got a gold coin oh man that's a really chumpy gold coin there we go so that gold coin it actually did go in my inventory for some stupid reason when it's actually a currency but if I was to go there it would probably would have gave me a couple cents 
Um, anywho, let's check here. I have my two strength now. Whoop whoop. Um, so now I will like own stuff. Let's attack one more and die anyway in the process. Again, I still need to fix that uh, follow attack thing that's going on. It's a little shady, I know. Oh no, I died. Well, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Hope you guys enjoyed the update video. I'm gonna be rolling out some more updates soon. Hopefully, get some test players on here. So, feel free to message me on Skype or through the email that you've seen me log in with. So, my Skype name is Xdesign101 or Xdesign101 at gmail.com. Whatever floats your boat. We're just gonna log out to save your data. Um, I'm for beta purposes and alpha purposes. Uh, I will be uh, what do you call it? Um, keeping the auto save at five minutes. But when the game is fully released, the auto save is gonna be at two minutes. This way, there's only a maximum of two minutes of data loss if the game crashes. Normally, you'll always be logging out with the logout button. Thus, it saves your directly your information right there before it logs you out. You don't lose a damn thing. Uh, it's the best way to do it. Again, it's it's online, not the greatest method, but it works great. So, anyways, I rambled on a bit more. Talk to you guys later.